right after doing the tire markers and all of that. So yeah, I need I need to get spin out of the car. Stressing about a lot of things that I don't really want to get into, but personal things. And it would be nice to get some air. And that's usually my uh, stress relief or my little escape is usually driving the car, getting some air. At least it takes my mind off things for a little bit. And then, you know, obviously it sinks back in eventually, but it is nice to at least have that escape. And for those of you who want to know whether having these cars brings happiness, I think the happiness is in owning the cars there is some happiness in it if i didn't have the cars then i i would feel like i'm working my ass off and have nothing to show for it so the cars play that role and the cars also play the role of being my stress relief when i have time to actually take them out and enjoy them so it plays a nice escape in moments like this where i need it I 
probably wouldn't be able to tell you if it's the same for people or not. But, yeah, I don't know. Steady type of cash on my phone, that same shit No it when I'm lame And even on the same shit I heard your shit in the swag That shit is so sad, put in work at that basement I charge you double that payment Look, boy, I'm not one you can play with I grew up in Brooklyn, left right, I keep looking If the ops come, then we get to bucket So sad that my youngest, they shook Get it back, we don't play with the book Made a slob, now they all wanna hug If you ask, yeah I do the dash, yeah Got money back, yeah For the ones that they took, I I know that I'm good, yeah. Straight face and I look They say that budget is in my outlook, yeah Hotmail, we gon' post bail When that ship sail, oh yeah I pop tax, that's my swag That is The most gas I've ever put In a Mustang So it was a little over 60 bucks but we're on our way home So you guys might actually see me in the Lambo in the next scene. Um, we are going to move around the cars because my dad has been trying to get out the green Mustang for a long time, but he keeps changing his mind. So I think I'm going to park this on the street somewhere and it'll be a good opportunity to pull out the Lambo because it'll need to be moved anyways for him to take out the green Mustang out of the garage. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure. Even if I do take the Lambo out, I don't know if I'm going to take it out for a long spin because at this point I don't know how long the vlog is the vlog's probably pretty short but I think I've been driving for almost an hour so if I do take out the Lambo that'll consume more time which I'm not opposed to I think I really needed this little getaway from everything and you know so I'm not necessarily opposed to it but obviously it will consume a decent amount of time if I do take the Lambo out especially if I'm going to drive it drive it 
I wish I was recording, but I did randomly see a black 2024, so that was interesting. I believe it was also a GT, but yeah, I revved at them. I think, I think they were in the car, if I'm not mistaken, so they would have seen me. when I do supercharge this car I wonder if how different it's going to feel is it going to feel different only when I push it is it going to feel different like even at low speeds or you know what exactly is it going to be like Here we are with the cars. We're taking the green Mustang out. Blue Mustang needs gas. So we're going to have to move that too. Taking the Lambo out won't be going for a spin like I originally expected, but it should be fine. Still got a full tank, so that's always nice. Over here, literally trying to figure out how to park the cars because it's becoming a, it's becoming a hassle to say the least. driveway pulled out the, obviously the blue mustang earlier dad just pulled out the green mustang we pulled out the lambo moved the suv bends moved the c55 bends and yeah my sister and mom headed out in the 528 i just realized that the window doesn't go up and down on the driver's side unless i'm messing something up but i don't know it has been a while since I've driven it, driven it. As you guys know, I love being able to drive with the windows down. So the driver's side window not going down is actually a huge inconvenience for my taste. But nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. I'm still fiddling with it, like nothing's happening. I don't know if it's because the car just has less power something else because obviously we've had power issues but I don't know what's happening there's hella cops over here too sheriff should have brought my hands this is a 360 camera but my hands were full literally I had this shit ton of keys in my hand and my wallet no pockets so For some reason, the air did not work, so I'm just getting gas at this point. My dad, I ended up leaving. He's going to another station to get fuel injector cleaner and to fill up there. So I'm pretty much just filling up here and taking myself home. Headed home now. Oddly enough, it took about $60 to make this car a full tank as well. So this point, we put $60 worth of gas in both the Mustangs. First time, all three cars are literally together, so that's kind of cool. Just hopped out, and I will say I'm glad that I did not hit the garage because I came very close, and a lot closer than I thought I would have, because it didn't feel like I was anywhere near the garage door, but onto the Lambo. I just realized all the keys are actually in the Mustang, so I had to walk all the way back. Got these two parked and onto the other Mustang now. Pretty cool. First time having all three of my cars lined up. Uh, we haven't done this since buying the 2024 GT. 
So it's the first time all of them are here. Taking out the Mustang for a quick work errand. And yeah, the Lamborghini, as you guys could tell, super freaking dirty. Mustang is just as dirty. Not, sh not sure how it got so bad since the weather's been nice, but maybe it's because of the trees and all that and the wind blowing here and there. Obviously no wind now, but yeah, I guess that's what got them dirty. On the vapor blue or whatever the hell this car, <laughs> car color is, you can't really tell though, but on the Lamborghini, it's like pretty horrendous to say the least. I was down bad, I had no job, I was up, yeah Now I get this shit back and laugh while you haters are mad and you counting your pay stubs I do this all on my own, right off the wake up, I go to my cake off I gotta get me a bag, steady tip of cash on my bro that same shit No way the f***ing on lame, bitch, can't even f*** on the same shit I had your shit in this at this point the packages are adding up I believe we have hood pins in the small one and the side louvers in this one and I think I'll put at least the side louvers on today but I'm not 100% sure hood pins I'm probably going to ask my neighbor to work on or I might give it to somebody else to do because as you would imagine I don't want to screw that up I've never really um drilled holes holes in a car so i don't want to be the one to do it this time and uh, screw up the hood in some way let's get to this unboxing i'm actually surprised the box is this big um i mean the louvers aren't like too big i'm sure they're a little longer than we'd expect them to look but that's just how that goes Lot of packing in there. This even the louvers? Or okay, it is. I think it is. I'm pretty sure this was the same company that I bought the other louvers for for the rear window. Um, but yeah, I don't see what else it would be because like the only other thing that I ordered was actually the spoiler. And there we are. Looks like we have to actually put the tape ourselves. We're about to head out, so I don't think I'll have time to do it right now. But I'll show you guys the louvers. It's like very interestingly packaged, like in the box. I mean, it's like in a sealed bag. And these are particular for the 2024. So. There should be no reason that they don't fit like the other ones I got. Super glossy, as you guys could tell. So I can't wait to see them on the car. So it definitely fits. But as you guys could tell, it's not perfect to the size of the window. Sort of how the rear louvers are as well. Um, as you guys could kind of tell, it doesn't cover completely. But at least it does fit. So I decided I was going to look at that before I start putting the double-sided tape on and all of that. I get this shit back and laugh on you. 
Here we have our RCR spoiler. So, oh shit. And yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm tired as shit. Apparently, can't even hold up a box. And yeah, let's unbox this. Won't be putting it on today, I don't think. But you never know. Maybe after I look at it, I change my mind. But I have been waiting for this even before I bought the Mustang. I wanted this specific spoiler because I really like ducktail spoilers. And yeah, I mean there wasn't that many options anyways, but I don't think we'd get a bigger ducktail than this. There's like literally no instructions with this. And all we have is double-sided tape. So, I'm not sure. Are we supposed to tape this big ass spoiler on? Even though the tape's only on one side? I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But, yeah, I don't know. Something about that seems a little dangerous. I thought maybe there would be bolts, but there aren't any screws or anything as far as I could tell. It's always nice to see the cars. Over here, just confirming that the spoiler is taped on and not bolted and i'm pretty sure these bolts are for something completely different have no idea what that is and yeah we just need to get started today is a big day in gt ownership we are getting sorry a cut out because of the car play but we are getting the RTR spoiler installed and we are also getting the hood pins installed so my neighbor will be handling both of those and yeah by the time we come home we should have made pretty good progress on it so we'll I guess we'll see um, 